What's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to finally some more Project Bloodstrike. It has been quite a while since the last time I played this game. And look at this. Look at this. This game is freaking awesome, man. There's a guy over there. Hi, buddy. Can't kill him because we're in the warm-up area right now. Now, as you can tell from the title, today's video is going to be a little bit controversial. It's okay. I understand. You might get mad at me in the comments, but I'm going to go as far to say that I think Project Bloodstrike is better than Warzone Mobile right now. I know, I know. It doesn't really make sense considering I've made so many videos on Warzone Mobile. Look at you. Look at you. Now you like my vector. All right. Well, anyways, yes. I do think Project Bloodstrike is better than Warzone Mobile right now, though I don't know if that's necessarily always going to be the case. This is a game made by NetEase, and the thing is, is NetEase games just tend to kind of fall off pretty hard, you know? And there's no hate to NetEase at all. I love the NetEase games. Lost Light, Hyperfront, Rules of Survival, all of them. I played them all, right? But it's just like they don't have that same longevity that games like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile and all these other games have. What ends up happening is they release a game that's very similar to a game that's upcoming, usually, for the most part. You know, you have, for instance, like uh, Valorant. They release Hyperfront, and Hyperfront's pretty popular. A lot of people like it, but... Second Valorant Mobile comes out, it's probably going to fall off pretty hard, right? And that's the same with Project Bloodstrike. I think oh, there's so many people. You think I could just get a random snipe? What are you doing? What? What are they doing? Aw, oh, come on. That should have been a kill. That should have been two kills right there. God dang it. Well, anyways, yes, as I was trying to say, um, it's probably going to be the same way with this game. There's a guy. How do you like shotguns, my friend? Very nice. Now, though, I'm going to take your M4 and continue this on. There is another guy right there. Beautiful, fantastic job by me. Let's go get some more ammo, some more stuff. I'm about to get a lot of kills this video, I swear to God. I'm going to do it. All right? We are not taking low kill gameplay. It's not going to happen. Going to kill everybody and anybody that we see. So, yes, um... I do think the development teams of both of these games are taking a very different direction right now when they're developing Warzone Mobile and Project Bloodstrike. And I don't necessarily think one of them is better than the other one. Uh, what it seems like the Project Bloodstrike team's doing is they are trying their best to not show any fault with their game. No bugs, no glitches, nothing at all, nothing that would make people not want to play the game, right? And maybe that's the better way to do it. I don't really know. But they released a beta test a long time ago, and that beta test was, like, perfect. There were, like, no issues with that at all. I mean, there were some bugs here and there, but everybody can attest to it that did play it that it was a very solid game, and it was pretty much ready for, like, a release date. But then the game went offline, and they went radio silent for a long time, for months at this point in time. And then finally, out of nowhere, it was kind of leaked that, yeah, they're probably going to bring the game back, and what do you know, the game is back. And, you know, it's kind of interesting how they decide to do it that way because Warzone Mobile has decided to, like, basically bring us through every step of the way in development. And maybe this is a way that you can gain player trust, you know, faster because you're, you're being like, hey, yeah, there are bugs in our game. There's glitches. We're not going to sit there and say that there's not. It's okay. It's fine. It's not a big deal, you know? Who cares if there are? We're going to show you guys what's wrong. You can work with us and, you know, in our Discord server, on Twitter, on everything. Let us know what's wrong with the game. And then, then eventually we're going to get our game better and better and better. And then it'll be ready for a global release. Do we think that way is better than the way that NetEase is doing? I don't really know. NetEase knows how to create games that players like. But I think if it was a different development team that wasn't as experienced with mobile games... I would actually probably say that that's not a good way to do it, the way that NetEase is doing it. Are you finally... Ah, oh, man. There's, there's a while that we went there without having anybody shooting at us. Please don't. Please don't kill me. Thank you, Scalplay. Much appreciated. But, uh, yeah. Because if another team that wasn't very experienced with mobile games was doing it that way, then they're kind of just putting all of their faith into just hoping that what they're doing is what the players want. They do a beta test. 
They maybe gather a little bit of feedback during that time, but then they spend months and months and months developing it further and further and further. And then when they release it again, they kind of just hope that it's better than the last one. Obviously, as I said, NetEase, their experience with these types of games, so they probably know the formula. They're going to just do this the same way they do so many of their other games. But, you know, I kind of like the way that Activision is doing it, where they're just leading us through it every step of the way. And because of it, at the moment, that's why I say Project Blood Strike is better. Because they can develop games quicker. It's not necessarily going to be as long-lasting as Wars on Mobile, but at the moment, Wars on Mobile is not that great. And it's going to take months and months more of development before that game gets up to this one. Though I do think once Wars on Mobile does eventually come out, it's going to be one of the best mobile games of 2023, possibly ever. Possibly ever. Since I don't think anybody's in this whole freaking area of the map, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my car. I've never actually driven it. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> I thought, oh, do I see a person there? Hold on. Nope. That's a mission. God dang it. Oh, there's somebody. Hello. How are you, sir? Target eliminated. Thank you, Hector. Much appreciated. Now, where are the other people? Well, as I was going to try to say there before Hector kind of messed with what I was going to say, I was going to say there's nobody around. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head way over to like the other side of the map. And then that way, you know, oh, hold on, hold on. Action is ramping up. There's a guy right here. Okay, all right. Why did I try to quick scope that guy? This gun does not have a very fast aim down sight time, so that did not work out. There is another guy that's near here. Yes, this guy. Hello, my friend. Goodbye, SXXO. Very nice. Let me get this kill. Good. Reload my sniper rifle. I kind of like this gun. I didn't think I would like it, but it's got a very big scope. Oh, should I take that? Okay, what's the scope look like for this gun? Yes, I probably should. It has a scope on it, doesn't it? Yeah, all right. That's better than the one that I have. Okay, cool. Let's go continue on. Take our car down the river here. Run over anybody that we see. And oh, I see a player, I think. Wait. I swear I saw somebody. Oh, yes, I was. I mean, I wasn't. What was I even saying? Who freaking knows? Not sure what that guy's doing, but... Take him out. Rojo. Rojo. Red in Espanol. Continue going. 36 people left. Eight kills on the board. We're doing all right. I'm proud about our amount of kills that we've gotten so far. Fire while sprinting. That will be very handy. I will take that. And let's progress forward. And you know what? I've rambled on quite a lot. I want to know what you guys have to say about Bloodstrike versus Warzone. I get that, that this person had to be... Oh, he had a vector. Ooh. No, I'm not going to take the vector. This other guy is right here. See if I can snipe him first. No! Do not get the kill. No! Literally could have been mine. You, sir are going to be punched to death. Zendar, stupid. You annoy me. Look at this guy with his special ability right over here. This guy's going to be a bit of a threat. Uh, let's go take him out. Eliminate him. Graha. There he is. Good. You are dead as well, my friend. Um. Anyways, as I was trying to say before things got pretty chaotic there, I just want to say... Or I just want to ask, what do you guys think about this whole, like, Warzone versus Project Bloodstrike? Or are you somebody that likes to take a pretty neutral as, uh, opinion to the whole thing? And you're just like, you know what? I like both games independently. Because honestly, that's probably where I stand, even though I say Project... I mean, Project Bloodstrike literally is better than Warzone Mobile right now, but I like both games. I literally like both games. That's why I make videos on both games. So I can't really, you know, complain about anything right now. Well, here we go. I mean, we are in the missile base right now of this game. This is probably one of the better areas to be. I don't really see a need to, like, leave this area because I think everybody's going to eventually come over here anyways. But there could be a lot of stragglers on the outside, you know? And of course, when it's raining, it's so hard to freaking see anything. 
So all these other people are going to die before I have a ch Oh, I see a guy running into the missile base right now. Told you. And there's a guy flying in. I just saw him. All right. Here we go. This is it. Let's go get this guy. He's inside. Where'd he go? Oh, he's upstairs? Not upstairs. He's up here. Hi! How's it going, buddy? Ebon Jonah! You almost killed me, and that is not okay. Let's take out your M700, because that is a better gun to use than the one that I have right now. Okay. There's another guy right near here. I'm and I'm dead. I'm dead. Save yourself. What are you doing, sir? Are you really going to sit there and... God dang it, man. It's all right. It's fine. I'm not done yet. Exotic Gaming's got another life. I've been redeployed. And I'm going to land right near where these people are. I swear to God, I'm going to kill them. They are not going to sit there and tarnish my, you know, abilities in this game. Where is he? He's down there. And if I'm lucky... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my God. Yes! Get out of here! Woo! He did! He tried to take my gun! And I don't approve. I'm sorry, sir. Get this. Triggers a smoke grenade when taking damage. That's probably a good one to use. All right, and we're back. Let's do this. Um, I have everything that I pretty much need right now. I have a close range gun. I have a long range gun. Is that a guy all the way over there? Yes, it is. And he's going to die to somebody else. Shoot. No. I only have 13 kills right now. This is not enough. I want more. Whoa. What the heck was that? That was weird. Oh, but he had a really good gun. Custom M4A1. Okay. Cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, that guy had an M4A1, hit, or I had an M4A1 hip fire. I think this one's probably a bit better. And there's not going to be too many people. Oh, there's somebody over here. I hear gunshots. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to take this guy out. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Very nice. Good. All right, we got one kill. 15 kills. There are six people remaining. And Exotic Gaming is not done yet. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. I'm telling you, as you're leveling up more in Project Bloodstrike, it gets tougher. It's just like every other game, but yeah. It's not easy anymore, that's for sure. People are pretty good at this game. I see a guy all the way over in the farthest distance. We're going to take him out with my super awesome long range <laughs> M4. That doesn't, it doesn't, it's freaking lasers, that guy. That's awesome. And I have the special ability that makes it so I have reduced fire recoil at the beginning. So it just makes it really easy, like, to laser people at the very beginning. You just have to make sure those first shots land. And I see a guy all the way over there. Yep, okay. I told you, you have to make sure those first shots land. I screwed up. Screwed up that time. I am going to take this fight, though. Let's kill this guy. Look at him! Look at him go! Look at you, buddy! You were hiding behind the thingy! Thank you for the shield. I appreciate it. What was that? Was that a person or a loadout drop? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I love this, though. All right, there's four people. I have 17 kills. We're not going to get quite as many kills as we did in the last video, but I would say this gameplay, we are better. The safe zone has been redefined. There's a guy right there. No. Finish him off. There we go. It's Graha. It's the same guy that we saw before. Well, thank you for all of your stuff. And I am running outside of the zone right now. That's not good. 18 kills. There are still four people. Don't know what that guy put there. I don't know what that green thing is, honestly. 
I see people using it, and I guess that's one of the special abilities. But I don't know. Okay. It is getting really intense right now. Uh, there is still a couple of people that have the ability to respawn. So we need to be very, very careful of these people. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually head over here and see if any of these people are up over the corner. Because they could be hiding. Maybe not. They must all be over here still. Yes, there's a guy all the way over there. Do you see him? They're shooting each other. No! No! Me and one other person. The safe zone has been redefined. Final guy is literally right here. This guy's gonna have to jump. The safe zone is Enemy hit. Enemy hit. And finish him off. He's gonna die to the zone, isn't he? You've gotta be kidding me right now. Don't die to the zone. You're not going to die to the zone. You're not that dumb. Ghost Riley. There he is. And is that it? Or is he going to respawn? Oh my god, he's going to respawn. He's flying down right now. Where is he? Oh god, no. This is not what I want. I could have just finished it right there. But of course, this guy is back. This is like the arch villain in a super movie. He comes back again. And you have to fight him a whole nother time. Imagine Marvel. You have to fight Thanos twice. This is what we're doing right now. We're fighting this guy twice now. Exotic Gaming is about to freaking win. I swear to God. I got my vector. And there he is. Finish him off with this. Oh, yes. And there we go. 20 kills. Not bad. Not bad. That's a pretty solid number. Anything 20 and above, I'm very, very happy about. I cannot complain. We did very well. Can I check my highlights? Is that possible? Is it going to show me some of my highlights? Well, you know what? There we go. That was another video on Project Blood Strike. I don't think it's going to show our highlights. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Beautiful. I think we played a lot better than we did in some of my earlier videos, and I think we're getting better and better. So let me know what you guys think about this game versus Warzone Mobile right now. Do you think Warzone's better? Do you think Blood Strike's better? Do you think both games are great in their own ways? I'd love to know, and I hope you all did enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will see you guys in the next episode.